via call reporting available in the Powered by IP Office Cloud. Subscription based, easy to use, loads of reports. Looking at the subscriptions, you can mix and match, uh, flexible, turn on, uh, turn off, and, and highly scalable from zero to uh, 300 users. This is an example of uh, all the standard reports that are included. And again, you can go and customize each one of those reports or create an entirely new report of your own, but really want to reinvent the wheel. It's really easy to use and well laid out. It's extremely intuitive. You've got right click options just like you would use in Microsoft Word or Windows. Wizards really make things easy. And when you start to generate a report, as we can see in this image, it actually shows you what the report will look like. So you can decide there and then whether it's an appropriate report for you or whether you'd like to uh, edit that. You can schedule reports. You can choose any number of formats from PDF, Excel, CSV, etc. What I'm going to do now is just give you a quick overview uh, and uh, drill down into some of the areas which I think uh, might be of interest to you. All right, here we have the main Avaya Core reporting screen. You provide with the URL and a set of credentials. The home screen, which is where we at, enables you to access all the other areas. Firstly, I said I would show you an overview of uh, standard uh, reports. And there they all are. With the reports, the standard 50 reports uh, cover all your hunt groups and incoming numbers, external numbers, uh, account codes, um, etc. There are three different report formats that include a, detailed, uh, a summary report, a detailed report, and an interval report. So let's go and run uh, an agent call uh, report, uh, maybe not. Agent call volume, that looks like a really interesting one. Um, if we head over to the right hand side, it asks you to report in a time frame, we go just uh, two days, keep the report nice and light. You either choose by uh, user or by your groups. We're just gonna go and select all the groups. This is pretty cool for those of you that like pie charts and bar charts. Um, you can drag and drop, add them. Now that 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 view is only available in uh, PDF. Um, you can go and choose uh, a skin you'd like, uh, and we're going to leave that at PDF. We're going to generate the report. All right, there we can see that didn't take didn't take very long at all and um, the data is uh, fairly fairly comprehensive and really does allow you to uh, uh, start getting an idea of what agents are up to because remember if you can't if you can't measure you really have no chance of uh, managing if we look at um, editing um, that report I would suggest editing uh, a copy it shows you all of the variables um, list them you know, total calls we can see is the first column, incoming calls is the second one. We can then go and choose um, to go and add another column. And these are all the columns that are applicable um, here. So we might go and say, uh, let's go and see the park duration, uh, for example. Um, and um, getting back getting back to there, if we go and edit, we can see here that we've got formulas, uh, Excel-based formulas. Uh, so we can go and manipulate um, various data. So... Um, Again, looking over here, it's uh, it's it's wizard based. So we'll scootle all the way through, finish, and we'll automatically see what our new report looks like, and we can go and run that report. Again, won't take long. Thirty seconds and counting. And there we have it. So intuitive, easy to use. Uh, if we come back to the main uh, the main screen and have a look, let's go and schedule a report as an example. Right, looking at a new schedule, we might go and run one based on uh, an agent. 
uh, agent calls, choose a name, MO1. Again, you can email. I might choose to email. Help if there wasn't fat fingers being involved. You can go and save it to a directory, which we might go and do here. Um, you can go and print it if you wanted to. You can choose the format. Again, we come and choose that we might the, the day that we might um, want it done and the um, frequency uh, of that. Here we're going to have it one every two weeks. It picks it up. Next, finish. And here we have it. If we come back to our schedule reports, uh, we now have that report scheduled. So nice and easy. Lastly, let's have a look at uh, Cradle to Grave. This is a huge one. Um, it really allows you to, to dig back into uh, all your calls. So we might go and just run it again for all of our all of our departments as opposed to individual users. And again, at the bottom here, you can save these filters. So there's no need to go and reinvent the wheel uh, every time. Uh, event type, why don't we go and show you all of the calls that were transferred? Because if you're looking for first call resolution, this is going to pick up calls that don't fit that criteria. So here we go. Let's go and hone in on this call. Great example. Came into the auto attendant. It rang. Melanie answered. She parked the call. She picked it up again. Got transferred through to uh, Brianna Armstrong, etc. And here we've actually broken the call down into the varying call reporting. So you call recording. So you don't have to listen to the whole uh, thing again. You know, if you want to listen to the beginning, you click. You've seen the. Um, at the bottom, you can see it brings up the recording, and you've got a number of options um, that you can do there. You can generate an email link, create a snippet, which is just that little bit of that conversation um, that you think might be uh, might be of interest. So that is uh, Cradle to Grave, and building uh, on that uh, Cradle to Grave is, if we're going back and look at uh, recordings, you can go and score your recordings. So um, over here we've got a, a campaign that we've um, partially partially put together, and you've got a list of questions. You've got a, a you know yes no, give it a ranking one to zero, or uh, get the agent uh, or uh, in, inputting text. Um, so that really allows you to go and uh, compare your your agents. So I think that. Just about wraps it up. If you've got any any questions of any description, uh, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.